Hey my loves, here comes a little summer greeting from me. We are in the last month of summer now, but it's still so green and flowers everywhere. So I'm glad that there's no signs of autumn yet. And I finally felt inspiration to sit down in my studio to edit a new video and connect with you all. If I could describe how the months of summer feels like from my perspective, I would say that June is like taking a deep breath in, filling my heart with beauty and new energy after a long winter. July is holding the breath. The summer is peaking and so many things are going on at the same time with never-ending work with the garden and the house and too many social events craving one's attention. The most intense month of the whole year. And August is breathing out. The tension and expectations of summer slowly releases its grip of you. And as the hype of summer calms down, I feel that I can move out of my shell again. Each month really has its own energy, and they are all needed for the balance. But I have to admit that the end of summer always feels like a calm embrace and makes me feel so much more relaxed. And one of the best things about the late summer is that all the hard work you did earlier in the year finally gives fruit. I spent a lot of energy on the garden this year, and I'm so grateful for that now. I've never felt so connected to our garden before. I really feel like it's starting to become like that garden I've always dreamt of, full of herbs and vegetables, but also wild flowers and areas where nature is in full charge. We have a really big garden, and most of the garden is just trees and wild plants growing naturally without the help of humans. A lot of people would probably think that we should cut it all down and just make a huge open lawn out of our property. But no, I love to have the forest growing wild around our house. It creates a magical atmosphere. And I like to keep that beautiful wild environment while adding some really good plants and flowers so that our garden becomes a place where nature and insects can thrive.
And as I said earlier, summer is a very busy time of the year because there's so much you want to squeeze into these three months of summer. We often have projects on the house or outside that we need to fix before it gets too cold. Since we are going to be out working this evening, we need some mosquito spray. Yeah, they're here. Oh, the smell. Yeah, this is summer. Yeah, the summer Sun perfume. <laughs> <laughs> I, I could wear this to a party and I would... Yeah, it's Smell okay. Good. Yeah. Mm. So. Yeah, that was half the bottle. <laughs> In May, I started what I thought was a weekend project to paint the garage. I had no idea how much work and energy that would actually take. But in the end of June, everything was finally painted. If you compare it to how it looked like before, it is glowing now. And I'm so happy every time I see it. In the beginning of summer, we also found out that we had a water leak in a pipe just outside our house. And new one has been working a lot with that. Now in July, the last details were finally fixed and you one could start covering the hole again. Is it going good? Mm -hmm. Nice! Very yeah, what, what are you doing right now? I'm filling up the hole. Yeah, wow! I'm just trying to get the pipes straight. I'm so happy you're doing this. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> Such a nice job. It looks amazing. I can't wait until all this water leak problem is done. It was such a good feeling to finally see that huge hole in our garden disappear. And one more project of the summer was done. What is this, Nanak? A cute dog. Hey! While Yuan was working with the water leak, I decided to get started with the wood. It has been out drying for a couple of months and it was about time now to take it in under roof so that it's dry and good to use for the winter to come. Shadows falling On the walls again Dancing with ghosts Of the people I've been Have they gone and died? Or are they living here inside? Silhouettes walking Down the Avenue. Twilight's asking me what I... It's raining now, and it's actually kind of nice. Let's get shit down! And some music. What are you? Planning to do with the years and the time between now and the end of the line. Ooh, ooh, I'm ready to start. I'm ready to start on this patchwork part. We are on our way to take a little night swim after a long day with a lot of work. We have a mosquito. Mm. Ouch! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, so we deserve a nice cold swim. Ah!
they like your forehead. You built this statue one, do you remember? <laughs> I mean, isn't it beautiful? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> it looks like it was 100 years ago you built it. Yeah. But it's only like two years ago. Even if there is so much work to do every day, we take every moment we can to do something fun and to really enjoy the summer. Especially in the beginning of summer, when the nights are bright, we go on some little adventures. A bird, Jöken. How do you say that in English? Ah, <laughs> the gook. The gook. The, gook. Cool the one that bird. is the cuckoo bird, and there's, I think, two of them here. One of them has a little bit wrong pitch. I don't know. Are they mates calling or? Maybe. We couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> yeah. Another late night in July, just before we were going to bed, I got an idea for a photo. I wanted to take a photo of me and Johan in the beautiful midnight light for a thumbnail for my previous video. Johan was really tired and ready to get some sleep, but he said yes anyway and dressed up in the tail coat and joined me out in the forest. Madness. I wanted to take the photos by a beautiful abandoned farm in the middle of the forest. We have been here many times before and I have always loved the midnight sky from this place. We have also had some strange experiences here that I would love to share with you in another video. There is a lot of energy from the past on this land and both me and Juan are very sensitive to that and pick up a lot of things. Even though it was a long time ago someone lived here and the buildings are falling apart, it feels like there is so much life going on here still, and I feel a deep respect while being here. The problem with being here though, is that no matter how much mosquito repellent you have, they still gonna eat you alive. It's so much mosquitoes that you can't be outside for too long. You have no idea how many mosquitoes it's here now, it's horrible. Och så kan vi kolla bortåt kanske. Jag fick in i näsan. Det var läskigt. Man kan typ inte andas. Som ett askmål typ. That's crazy. <laughs> it was crazy. <great. laughs> yeah. This is crazy. <laughs> you are crazy. We're saying yes to this. Mm, yeah, that You could be in true. bed now, love. Yeah. Oh, by the way. Now, today. Mm, yeah, now, just uh It's July 13 today. Yeah. And it's uh, our wedding anniversary, mm -hmm. three years. Yeah, it's a good night to celebrate yeah. <laughs> with all our friends. I'm <laughs> mm. mm -mm. try to film it. Just stand there, baby. It's all gonna be alright. You can film on your hat. No. <laughs> this is insane. <laughs> but look at the sky! Look yeah, at the sky. look at the sky! Oh my gosh. And yes, this summer we have had more mosquitoes than ever. And it makes it really hard as a filmmaker to keep the focus while working. Because this time of the year I am mostly filming in the late evenings or nights and that's when the mosquitoes are most active. And even though I think I handle it pretty well, 
I can't stop wondering how it would feel like to be surrounded by this beautiful nature without having to be bitten by mosquitoes at the same time. I'm trying to make some <laughs> Euler photography. It's August now. I thought they would start to leave. Nanook! Hey! <laughs> Wanna go home? Yeah. Let's go home. <laughs> I went away on a short trip with my van for a few days. First I met up with a good friend and then I took some days by myself to just explore some new places. Last winter I read about an old mine here in Sweden, where they used to mine for crystal quartz. It hasn't been used since 1946, but the place is open for people to visit. And I have wanted to visit a place where you can find crystal quartz for as long as I can remember, so I decided to go and check it out. It's a little bit more to the south than where I live, but closer to the mountains. It took me only about 3-4 hours to drive there. But I had no idea that the area where the mine is located was so beautiful. That area reminds me a lot of the place where we have our cabin, so I felt really at home here. I ended up spending more time just driving around in the mountain areas and explore the nature than being at the mine. But I went to the mine two days in a row, and it was really fun to be there. At first it looks like a gravel pit, but when you look closer on the rocks you see that they shine of crystals everywhere. I had no idea how to properly look for crystal quartz, and I don't have the right tools. But I did find some beautiful, tiny crystals on the ground. I would love to go back here again when I have some more knowledge about how to find crystals. And I would also love to show this place to Yuan, because I know he would find it really interesting. flying around above the water. like a northern light, but it's the clouds. Wow! Look at these beautiful night clouds. They're shining. It 
looks like um, when it's a thunderstorm and it's lightning, but it's a constant lightning like on the sky. <laughs> so I'm soon gonna go to bed now. It's been a really long day. I have been awake for so long. So it's gonna be good to get some sleep. <laughs> it's so cozy in here. It's not a real candle, by the way, it's a, it's a fake one. So cozy. Good night. to this place it's the perfect amount of uh, stream in the water it's not too much so you can be like in the stream <gasps> I've been to so many places today. It's been a really long day and I haven't been tired at all. I still feel so energized. I think I'm gonna find a good place to sleep over the night. Me in my van. Maybe I'm gonna do some work on the computer. It's so nice that I can bring my computer and actually work from the van because I have like a little router so I have internet. That is so luxury. So maybe I should upload something on Instagram tonight. The next day I spent many hours by this lake. I felt so relaxed in a way I haven't felt in a long time. These days on the roads was like a beautiful gift and I felt recharged and ready to get back home again. I made some tea. <laughs> I also recorded a long talk with you that I was going to add in this video. But unfortunately it was more windy than I thought and the wind noise on the video was too loud so I couldn't use it. So before I say goodbye now, I just want to say thank you with all my heart for all the beautiful thousands of comments on my previous video. And I'm so deeply grateful for every single one of you who is here and watch my videos and spread so much love and light in the comment section. You make a difference in this world. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Take care of yourself and each other and go do something you love now. Something that makes you smile. Whatever that might be. I love you and I see you soon again. Mwah.